What's your name? Ragnar Lothbrok. You are Ragnar Lothbrok, the one who sailed west. I'm a very uh, curious man. You are the most dangerous man on this earth. Today we are going to learn English with the king of kings, the king of all Norway, and the true Viking, Ragnar Lothbrok. Of course, most of you have seen the Vikings series, but the Vikings aren't just legend. Ragnar Lothbrok is a real and historical character who is known as the strongest and the scariest man in the world. And Travis Fimmel, in the role of Ragnar, was able to create one of the best imagination about this man for the people. So, let's go to start our work and don't forget to subscribe my channel. What do you see? Power. The power of a king. Power is always dangerous. It attracts the worst. Attracts. To make someone interested in something. For example, what attracted Bjorn Ironside to the role was having power. And corrupts the best. I never asked for power. Power is only given to those who are prepared to lower themselves, to pick it up. Corrupts. Using your power in a dishonest or illegal way in order to get an advantage for yourself. For example, the culture has been corrupted by Western influences. Pick it up. Go somewhere to collect something. For example, if she starts to cry, pick her up and give her a cuddle. Gita. I've come to say goodbye to you properly. Properly, correctly or fully. For example, parents should teach their children to behave properly in public. You're like Quicksilver. Quicksilver. What do you mean about this world, Quicksilver? Well, it means something that is like Quicksilver chains or moves quickly in a way that you do not expect. For example, his mood changed like Quicksilver. You're a brave man, Hathostil. I always respected you for that. You taught me so much. You saw yourself as weak and conflicted, but to me, you were fearless because you dared to question. Brave. Actually, this is not a word you can explain it with other things, with some other words. Because being brave and bravery is something that is on you. And it is so hard to discuss it with word and sentences. But anyway, it means dealing with danger, pain or difficult situations with courage and confidence. For example, it was brave of you to fight against cancer. Conflicted, confused about choice to make, especially when the decision involves strong beliefs or opinions. For example, many mothers today forced conflicted about working outside. Fearless, brave or not afraid of anything. I always believed that death is a fate far better than life, for you will be reunited with lost loved ones. Fate, destiny, a power that is believed to control what happens in people's lives. For example, I wouldn't wish such a fate on my worst enemy. United, to come together again or to bring people parts of an organization. For example, the children were finally united with their families. It gladdens me to know that Odin prepares for a feast. Soon I shall be drinking ale from curved horns. Gladdens. 
to make someone feel pleased and happy. For example, it will gladden the hearts of my friends to see you. Feast, a large meal where a lot of people celebrate a special occasion. For example, the king promised to hold a great feast for all his people. Curved, having a shape that is like a curve and not a straight. For example, the plane's wings are curved. This hero that comes in the Valhalla does not lament his death. I shall not enter Odin's hall with fear. There, I shall wait for my sons to join me. And when they do, I will bask in their tales of triumph. The Aesir will welcome me. My death comes without apology. And I welcome the Valkyries to summon me home. Laments, to express feelings of great sadness about something. For example, the nation lamented the death of its great was leader. Basque, to enjoy sitting or lying in the heat of the sun or a fire. For example, Vikings were basking in the morning sun. Apology, something that you say or write to show that you are sorry for doing something. For example, we make no apology for defending our members' interests. That is our job. Some men. To officially order someone to come to court or law. For example, he had to summon the energy to finish the race. Thanks for watching our video!